listed there. We've got Tim on here. Tim on. Okay, okay. We're good to go. Tim, what has this season meant to you so far? Ah, uh, man. This season has been a great season for us. It's well, lesson learned. You know, we, we, we push ourselves and we work hard every day. You know, we, we try to be the best we can be at all times. But, you know, it starts with discipline and hard work. What do you think has kind of brought it all together? What's made all this come together and happen the way it has? Has it been um, all about that uh, hard work, all about that discipline? And you had to get some other had to be some other breaks along the way too. Yeah, you know, we, we hang out. We all of us we hang out together all before, way before football. We all got we all get together and we we hang out. We laugh around together. I think that's what like brought us all together as like a family. You know. Tell you what, you just gave me an idea. I got a key word we'll use for that. Maybe the bonding. Everybody's kind of bonded together. Yeah. Here's another thought. This will make you think on this one. If you had to sum, I've done this a lot this year on this show. If you had to sum this whole season up, maybe in one word, how would you sum up the whole year? Maybe in just one word. Is that a possibility? Uh, that's a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> I would say maybe um family. Family. Okay. I got another one. That's why you're thinking and doing yours. I came up one too. Even though it's nine and three, you guys have lost three lost games. I think that that's no big deal because everybody you're one to know right now, new season playoffs. I think another key word you maybe some success. Yeah. You guys had success this year too. Is another good way to sum it up. And like I say, you're one to know is you're in the playoffs. What's it going to take to beat this Charlotte Catholic team in your opinion? What are you going to do to beat Catholic tomorrow night? Uh, we just gotta we gotta execute basically, and we gotta focus. Our main thing is you know focus. Stay in focus. What about you look at yourself as a receiver, you look at Charles, what's, what's, what are some differences in you two? Both of you put up very good numbers. I think Charles, he didn't know his number, but I said he was around 911. You got to be at least 500, some maybe close to 600 yards receiving this year. What are those some differences in you guys as receivers that we would look for if we saw you guys in the game? Uh, if, you, if you watch us, we, the way we play, we're kind of different. Like the way I play, I, I play like more. I'm a more shifty guy, and I like I miss a lot. Like, I make people miss a lot. Moves out there, yeah. right? I like to put people in my highlights. <laughs> so you, maybe you put the moves on. Maybe Charles yeah. is going over the speed, and yeah, he's, he's, he's more, starting to fly these guys. Yeah, he's a more put the guys away type of guy. So you kind of kind of give the guy maybe a hip and try to pull that hip back, take that hip away from him. Then, what's yes, your sir. favorite route? My favorite route has got to be <laughs> the go route. Just flying up the field. Yeah, because I like to I like the most people. Do you uh, do you maybe put a little move on the guy before you take off upfield? Kind of move, put put a shake move on him before you go. Oh yes, sir. Who's been the here's a good one. Who's been the toughest defense you've faced this year? Toughest defense you've gone up against? So maybe the toughest defensive back if you remember one you may have seen. Who's had the toughest defense this year? Mm, I gotta say probably West Forsyth. Mm -hmm. They they corner they, they secondary was it's kind of legit, you know. It was kind of hard to work around, but once you study them, you get a hang of them. It's you gotta go, you gotta, you gotta sit. Looking at it overall this year, we talked about how this thing has kind of come together. Uh -huh. And week in, week out, how do you think this team has uh, gotten better as the season's gone on? You guys got a little bit better from the end of the season to last week's first playoff game. You guys a little bit better. What's made you guys get better every week? You think? Um, focus, hard work, and discipline. Yeah, and we look at too. I guess a lot of it has to do too. Like I said, the guys were injured. Getting those injured players back has helped. Yeah, we needed those injured players back. When we got them back, we got flowing and we got we were on the go. Let me throw some guys' names by you. Tell me what these guys mean to your team. Let's start with uh, hmm. Let's start with a fairly young guy, Chavis Little. What's Chavis mean to this team? Um, Chavis. He's a big factor to this team. Actually, he's our running back. When he, when our running back is having a good game, it open up, it opens up the throwing game perfectly, and we just we get going once it's like that. Can't we're hard to stop. Do you like that downfield blocking? Do you mind getting the, throwing those blocks downfield for those guys? Oh yeah, I have to block. You know, we need them blocks. If you can't can't block, can't How run. How much do you weigh? How much weight are you throwing in that ball? What's your weight carry right now? My weight right now is 165. 165. So. Yes, sir. Uh, Throwing that extra shoulder in that guy's gonna help a lot here too. Yes, sir. Talk about what uh, maybe a guy like Tim Ward would mean to this team. Um, he's a real, he's a real good, he's a real big, tall guy. You know, he's he's long. He gets after it. He blocks a lot of balls. He's a real active guy on the team. What about uh, Charles? What's Charles mean? He's one of your fellow receivers. What's Charles mean to this team? Charles, he's a real, he's a real good guy too. He's real fast, real quick. He makes he makes everybody on the team just work harder. Now, he when you guys line up receivers, are you like on one side, he's on the other? You guys ever on the same side, same time together in those formations? Um, 
not not often. You know, it's probably like one formation, like Texas, when I go to the line and he's on my side. Mm -hmm. So you never have like that big. Uh, so many teams have the trips left, trips right, line of the oh, three yeah. guys. Together. You guys package it like that occasionally too? Yeah, we do, but I'm on a separate side. I'm over there. I'm like a little island over there by You're myself. All by yourself, <laughs> hoping that they'll look at the three guys and leave you alone so you go feel make the big catch. Yes, sir. What does the quarterback, Jamel Mack, what's he mean to this team? Oh, he's a he's a big factor to this team. He's actually he's a pretty good leader for this team. He he doesn't know it, but he's he's a real good leader. And, and that means a lot too. Yeah. You got a guy you can put your trust in. This guy's gonna you, you look to that guy to kinda when you're down, you, that guy's gonna be the one that's gonna step up and have to take off and go for you. Yeah. Do you trust him when he takes off in that long run? I mean you probably <laughs> trust him then, don't you? Yeah, I trust him then, but I don't like him to take them big hits, but Yeah. That's one He's of the dangers about those long runs. Yeah. You may get popped a little extra hard there. Might get the extra bust. Uh, how about uh, Jeffrey Wall? Oh, Jeffrey Wall, he's a real good factor to this team, too. He's one of them fast, quick guys. Catches the ball real good. Very good catcher. Very good runner. You guys he's have so factor. many different people that get involved in the offense. That's a yeah. good factor for this team, too. A big bonus, a big plus. A lot of different weapons. What do you think the key is to play in receiver? What's the key to be in that position? Focus and running your routes, sell your routes good, catch the ball, look the ball in at all times, and you won't be stopped. Who helped you become a good receiver as you were growing up as a kid? What made you a better receiver? Was there anybody that kind of coached you along the way and kind of gave you the inspiration to do what you're doing today? Um, my father and my coaches. My father and my coaches, yeah, good they always push there. me. Always yeah. pushing you. How many reps does it take you to get ready before the game gets going? How long does it take you to get warmed up once you guys hit the pregame warm-up duties? Uh, after maybe 15, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, or a few receptions, a few catches and warm-up tosses, how long does it take you to get ready? Um, as soon as, I see the, as soon as I see the stadium, man, I've already got the mindset. Yeah. I already got the thing of knowing it's it's time to roll. Before it's time. the bus hits that parking space, you're ready to go. You got to be. Yep. You got to be thinking about it. <laughs> I wish we knew this. We'll have to look this up, maybe. I'm trying to think about the Charlotte Catholic team nickname. What is their team nickname? Don meant to look. I think they made. I'm not sure what those guys were. Somebody made in the house, man. I don't know if it was a Cougars or what that Yeah, name Cougars was. or Bobcats, one of them. Something like Cougars, that. Yeah, I, I always wanted to know the team nickname going in because I always look for those signs around the stadium when you're driving through. Yeah. You're still thinking about that team. we got to beat this team as far as Catholic goes. How about your summer workouts? What did you do this summer to get better before the season even began? Some of those workouts you did. What were you doing this summer? Um, before the season ending, even began, I always looked, you know, at home, just trying to get stronger, trying to get faster. Always looking at, like, I look at a lot of NFL games, just watch them, because I learn, you got to learn from the best, you know. Do you watch that huddle? They've got that huddle tape that runs out there, too. Watch some of those? Yeah, I watch huddle all the time. What about, because uh, I've been watching this stuff lately, too, I think for <laughs> myself, watching a few uh, players and games before you go to a game on Friday night, kind of gives you an idea what these guys can do. Time in the 40, how has that gotten better? What is your time in the 40 these days? Um, my time in the 40 right now is like a 4-5. I can, I can do a lot better than that, but that's what it is right now, and I'm going to get better at it. How about Coach Jones as far as uh, do you do track as well? Are you got another sport you do? Yes, sir. I do, I do football, basketball, and track. So you're doing the basketball too then? Yeah. So watch that. What position in basketball? Small forward, shooting guard. I'm a real fast, active guy. So you like to run that court? Yeah. Are you looking forward to the basketball season? Um, right now I'm focused on football basically, but I'm after football season, I'm definitely looking forward to I playing basketball. I was hoping that's the answer I was looking for. I was thinking, <laughs> basketball's going to be fun, but I've got other business i got to take care of right now. Football season. How big is it to win that game tomorrow night? We keep asking guys about that. Got knocked off by this same team in this same round last year, round two. How big is that win tomorrow night? It's a real big game. It's a real big, big thing for me. I look at it as the championship game. I look at every game as a championship game. I, it, don't make it the last, make it the best senior yeah, year. That's it, that's it. You're right about that too, because every week right now is a little championship within itself. You guys won one last week, got that first round championship game <laughs> on the road down at Southeast. You guys may have to be on the road the entire playoffs, so yep. this road thing may work out to your advantage now that you get used to that. Toughest or meanest player you've ever gone up against? Mm, that's a hard one. <laughs> Toughest I would man say, you may have ever faced? I would say it was probably the, my own. Um, my own teammate. Oh, like the players against us, right? Like it it can be teams. your own teammate. Oh. How about your teammate? My own teammate, actually, Jermaine Pratt. Wow. He used to bring it on me in practice a lot. He made, he got me, he, he pushed me to get better. He taught, he a few, taught you guys a few lessons yeah. there. 
Man, do you watch him uh, when you get a chance now? Keep up with him at NC State? Yeah, he's he's gotten real big and real better. He's, he's breaking up <laughs> some passes and putting some weight on getting stronger. Yeah. What do you think about the best player to ever come out of High Point Central? Who would you say? Would you say Pratt or somebody else? Who's been the best player to ever come out of High Point Central? Mm, I would say for right now, probably Pratt. Yeah, probably Pratt to me. And I mentioned some other guys earlier. Do you remember, remember some of these guys? Justin Johnson, Will Johnson, all those guys. Do you remember Monk? LaShawn Monk? Yeah, LaShawn Monk. Real good. He was a receiver. good receiver. Yeah. He was kind of a receiver. I remember Monk back in the early days, man. They would throw Monk. He wouldn't be a running back. He'd be almost like a running back because he'd be playing a wide out spot. They threw that pass down the line across the field. Oh, yeah. Just get it in Monk's hands, let him run. Yes. You guys still use that type of play, I'm sure, too, don't you? Yeah, we use that with Jeffrey Wall a lot. I got you. That's Jeffrey Wall's big play. Got you covered. Yeah. Favorite class at High Point Central? You got a favorite class? Uh, not really. I look at all the classes as, as you gotta got to go in there, you got to get it done. And all of equal first. importance. Yeah. Yeah. All equally important. Best teacher you've ever had anywhere. High Point Central, uh, Ferndale, Wellborn, uh, any school, best you've ever had. I would have to say Coach Angel at Ferndale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he got a shout out because he's been a good guy over the years. Yeah. He's helped a lot of kids. He kind of was in the shadows a lot of years there, too. And plus, that one time, I don't know how this happened. I had a pan out. One time he got a raw deal. They let him go one time yeah. from the team. Remember that deal that came up that time? That was all kinds of struggle by Coach Angel. Coach Angel's done a good job over the years. Now, I mentioned all those schools uh, Wellborn, Ferndale, Penn Griffin. Those are all the high point middle school teams there. You got a favorite college football team? Oh, yeah, I do. My favorite, my dream. School is to ever go to is Miami University. Be part of the U. Did you watch that game last Saturday night? Yeah. It was a crazy game. Yeah, it was a real crazy How in the world does Florida State keep coming back every game? I don't know how that Florida happens. Florida State's always been a hard team to play. And there's a different guy. seems like almost them every week he just steps up and just keeps uh, knocking things. It might have been the guy number eight last week. That guy yeah, had so many eight. big plays on yeah. defense. Real good DB. <laughs> Ramsey might have been his name. Might have been Ramsey. Heck, wore a little bit of the, the ball type headband. Yeah. And that Ramsey guy, he went up and knocked a pass. Down. I think he, he picked the pass off late in the game, too, to set things up. It's amazing. And Miami was playing a heck of a game. That guy they got Duke Johnson, a great running back. Yeah. I think he just runs so hard, he has to sit out about every fifth play because he cramps up, has to take a seat. Yep. Uh, what about a favorite protein? Uh, I actually don't even like stay involved with the little protein things, but I have. Coach Jones, he give it to us a lot, but I just drink them, you know, no, no, bigger no, and get football, stronger. Favorite pro football team. Oh, yeah, pro football. Phrase, yeah, pro football team. Oh, I've had, I would have to say Dez Bryant, you know, for the Cowboys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I look, I look up. You like Dez? You also like the Cowboys too? Yeah. Big Cow what about the Panthers? Any hopes of them at all making any kind of playoff or doing anything to get that team turned around this year? Uh. I, I hope they go far, but I don't think they're going to go too far. Not they looking look, too good. Look. What about the big? I had to ask this question. What are the other guys? What about the big game tonight? Duke and North Carolina. Who do you see oh, yeah. in that game? That's a big one tonight. Yeah, I got to root for Duke on that one. What for Duke then? <laughs> Jamison Crowder is one of their big guys down there. A solid player. So going for Duke against Carolina. Here's a man, these Carolina receivers, though. If you're a receiver, you could almost get a, a lesson watching those guys. They got that guy, yeah, Austin Pro. Yeah. Got that guy. They got uh, the Switzer guy. They got the Mac Hollins guy. They got a good receiving core down there. Boy, Ricky Pro, if we can get Pro in here to be one of our coaches, I'm going to learn some <laughs> that guy. That guy does a pretty good job. Uh, favorite sport other than football? Basketball. Basketball, because you're going to be playing that in about six weeks. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got to, you saw what I did. I stretched it out so we oh, could yeah, get that football. Six weeks. <laughs> right. uh, have you ever heard of this guy, Gian Giancarlo Mike Stanton, signed that big contract this week? Big contract. Got uh, going to be making 32 million a year. No, 25 million a year. 325 million over 13 years. Giancarlo Mike Stanton. Ever heard of him? Stanton. Yeah, Rainbow? I haven't heard of him. Okay, baseball man out of Miami. Uh, you lose your cell phone. No more computer. No more television. No more nothing. What would you do with all that spare time? Probably work out, head. do push-ups, try to get stronger. <laughs> Always trying to get better. Yeah. Who do you give the shout-out to that made the difference in your life? You wouldn't even be here today without all the help you've got for this one person. Is one person you give that biggest shout-out of the night to? Um, my mother. You gotta give it to mom. What's her first name? Kena. Kena. Kena Gorm. Kena Gorm. Tim Gorm, good job on your part. Good yes, luck in that game tomorrow night. Be sure you get the Shane's Roof Chef meal. Good job, man. Okay. Keep up the good work. And take care of Charles. Charles is a little dude. He needs some help over there. Take the pressure off.